So I have a lot of pineapples, as you can see up here, and I want to go through them before they spoil. Um, so I'm just going to pre-cut a lot of them so that way I can have them cut and then measured out so that way I know how many calories or cups per se are in each bag so I can make sure I'm getting enough calories in for the day. So this is the center part. When I make juice, I use it, but when I cut it to eat it, it's really hard. It's good for smoothies. You could cut it up and put it in the freezer for smoothies if you really want, but I'm just choosing not to do it right now. I like to make sure all the like green parts are off too. Um, just because it doesn't taste good. So what I'm doing is I'm measuring out. This is four cup uh, measuring cup, and I am proportioning out. I don't know if you can see that. Let me smooth this so you can see it. It says seven cups, and it's five hundred and seventy four calories. That way, just I can make sure I'm getting enough food or enough calories, not food, uh, enough calories. So I'm just prepping now. So I'm going to show you guys that I have a lot of pineapples. So I'm doing these first. So we've got four cups of pitted, sorry, not pitted cherries. And there I did, I checked on Google and it says it's 51 calories per cup. So we're about, oh, 50 and 50 is 100. And then another 50 and 50 is, so about 200 and some change calories. So... I have quite a bit of cherries, um, so I think I'm going to do six cups per bag. I was going to use the same bag over again, but there was one that was like smushed in there and broke, so I think I'm not going to do that. So I've just been writing like how many cups and then calories are in each thing, each fruit that I'm cutting and pushing out. That way we can keep track easier. So let's continue. I don't know if you can see, but I'm putting like the stems over here and then whatever seeds that I was thinking about trying to grow a cherry tree since we have so many darn cherries, but I don't know how long it will take to produce fruit and I'm sure it's a decent amount of time. And then I also, where's the camera? I also like to look in the hole and make sure there's no like mold. This one doesn't have any in it, but it's pretty squishy. So let's just toss it. And for as little as we spent on these cherries, it's okay to throw some away. It's not gonna hurt us. I know that's just like, a deformity 
It's probably hard to see, but I don't like it. So let me toss it. Um, okay, guys, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do this. Okay, so I've got these cleaning. They're soaking now. Um, and then I will show you the process on how I dry them. You have to be super careful with these because they are they're soft berries, so they will smash. Okay, guys, so I have finished cleaning them and putting them back in the containers. And as if you can see right here, I wrote down on how many calories per container. So these are six ounce containers and six ounces of raspberries, at least for what Google says, they're 90 calories per six ounces. So I got 10 containers ready to go. Now we're gonna move on to the, I don't know if you can see that, reflecting. Anyways, you're seeing a reflection. 12 ounce organic blackberries. We're going to move on to those. Cleaning them and prepping them and putting them back in these containers. Um, like I said, I forgot Tupperwares from the house. So I'm just going to put them back in these containers. It's going to just make it a little bit easier on me. Okay, let's do it. Okay, guys. So we started off with eight 12 ounce containers. And 12 ounces is 146 ounces, I mean calories. So we got one, two, three, four of those. And then I have a couple that aren't full. Um, I just guesstimated this one has a little bit less than this one. So I said 110 calories on this one. And this one has a little bit more. So this one I said 130. So... We started off with eight and we ended up with six cleaned, no mold, nothing. And I think that's great because I think we paid $14 for 12 of these and I took some of them home. Um, and this is what I left at my dad's. I left eight at my dad's and then we ended up with six cleaned and ready to go. Not too bad. So this is me being done with my prep to start on 30 days of fully raw and see what our results are. 